obviously I want to ride the bike, uh, but I need brakes. Now the, the rear brake I fixed with a guy that tipped me that I've got, I had this, this thing mounted the wrong way around. So I had this point I had down here. So I, I couldn't figure out why it didn't work. But thanks to him, I think it was on Instagram he mentioned that. Uh, I figured out what I was doing wrong. I had to flip this around and now everything works fine. So um, when I push this pedal, you can see it moving. And it also triggers the brake light. Obviously, that's only like 20% of your braking power. The most is going to come from this front end and on this old Suzuki I've only got one disc brake so that's not a lot so this is a really important piece of kit so what I'm going to do is going to strip this thing off and put in a new kit because the old one was uh, that was dead and maybe I'll give this a uh, paint job so we'll match uh, the other one so today is another day Got the clutch fixed yesterday. Uh, the engine is working, so I've got like two things left to do. I've got to fit in this different battery, so I have to completely see if I rearrange this entire tray. All right, so I've been really busy today. Done a lot of work. Front end disassembled, shortened the forks, reassembled it, uh, changed the brake line because the one I had was too short. That's my mistake. Put in the this cable. I'm gonna secure this somewhere somehow. Um, I fitted the tack just to uh, use it for the. Uh, tuning of the engine I've got the battery back in my mountings for the exhaust but the only setback is that the clutch is still not working so my idea is to use that engine take out the clutch put it in this one and see if that helps and fixes the problem because I've been tweaking the cable shorten and whatever tighten it taking this thing off a couple of times different settings but it just won't free up even uh, after I uh, change the oil so um, I think the basket's just too uh, too crappy but if I can get the clutch working then I can ride oh yeah and I've done the uh, the um, brake so I bled the brake and it's got fluid in now so uh, it should work someday I'm gonna ride this thing now the tuning of the engine is going to be a big that's going to be a thing but we'll see about that later so i was polishing the tank and then i noticed this this rust 
underneath so I'm in trouble. So this is going to be my first ride ever on this bike. But here we go. Goes. So I was pretty happy with that. Swing around. Here we go. We're riding. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't have any insurance or a license plate on the bike, so I had to stay behind the house. And the bike was clearly getting too much fuel. It was piffing and puffing and bluffing everywhere. Finally stalled on me. When I put the bike back, I noticed something was wrong front shocks with bubbles coming out of it so I've done the rebuild I'm just gonna put the headlight back in because uh, I fixed the rear brake and I did the uh, changing of the, the forks so I'm gonna take the bike out again and have another test run. So I've been driving it around the block, um, still having some issues with the, uh, the car. But um, the other thing I've decided to do after riding it is uh, make a mud guard, a small one in the front and one at the back. So that's something that I will be doing uh, in the next couple of days. So the carp is giving me issues. I had it running perfectly at some point. Uh, it was running fine stationary and, and I was riding it and it was running fine. Before that it was just way too rich and I would just drown the engine. Uh, then I got it running pretty good actually. It was riding around and then all of a sudden it just spiked with the uh, throttle. It just went from normal to full throttle. So I think something is stuck inside the car. And I'll have to check these uh, stationary screws as well. So there's a lot of set up, set up things to do. And maybe the, um, the things inside, what are they called? I don't know what they say, what they're called in English, but we'll probably have to change those as well because of the, uh, the AirPods. But we had it running and we have made some uh, 400 meters. Not a lot, but something. This is the front end. 
and it is so clean. Really happy with that. The only thing about the buttons, I've chosen white and orange, and they're pretty hard to see uh, when the sun is shining on them, so maybe we have to get used to that. They're off now, but yeah. I haven't got the neutral uh, working on these, so I've got the blinkers on them now. So that's a bit of a setback. I don't know why it's not working, but I'll we'll have to figure that out. Headlights working perfectly. Okay, check it out for a spin. It is running better and better, but still a bit too rich. So I've been running the bike for a couple of blocks around a street here, uh, trying it out. Uh, at first it was running way too rich, so I started uh, adjusting the, uh, the, sc the screws. It was running fine, I was doing a few blocks around here, it's going really well. And then suddenly it just started uh, sticking the throttle, which is keep uh, going full throttle. And also the uh, the engine is uh, really sweating everywhere, and it's like oil from all the clutch changes dripping uh, out of places. I didn't know it was, and the uh, chain tensioner is leaking oil as well. I don't know if that's old old oil or there's some sort of a leak. Um, so yeah, I'm just really testing it out. It's I'm not there yet, but. I have driven it and uh, it's a Spartan ride, but it did. So uh, let's just keep working on it and uh, it should be fine, I think. I hope. Right, that's for, the, for this video. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that like button, and see you in the next one.